Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Brandon, welcome. Today, we're starting a new series on the channel and that is gonna be for showcasing Kingdom Hearts PC mods. Pretty much the plan is that I am going to get every single one I find and I am going to showcase all of them, show you how to do them, where to get them, who made them, that kind of thing. And I'm only gonna be covering mods that are currently public so anything that's currently being worked on i'm keeping my eyes on all those i follow all the accounts on twitter and all that i'm all over reddit all that good stuff but i'm only going to be making videos as they go out so that pretty much when you watch them you could just go straight into the description once you're done with the video and you see everything if you decide you want to try it and you can just get it right away so for video number one we are starting with the basics of the basics and that is going to be the trainer mods for kingdom hearts one and two if you're unfamiliar with what a trainer mod is it's not one that alters the gameplay itself but rather custom stats like you can give yourself infinite health or magic and then you can give yourself things like max items or all the weapons off the bat stuff like that to get this you're going to go to wemod.com easiest way to do it is just to download the program straight from the website there's also an app but you have to pay for it so now i'll show you guys what this includes kingdom hearts one unlimited hp mp like i was talking about or you can edit your hp and mp if you want to do a custom amount gummy ship edits unlimited health energy for the lasers uh and minigame max score Edit your money, give yourself custom money, max money, all weapons for Sword Donald Goofy, all accessories, consumables, materials, that being synthesis, all blueprints for the gummy ship, and all gummy ship parts. You can do unlimited experience, XP multiplier if you don't want to just turn experience on and get level 100 in one hit. Uh, unlimited AP. AP is one of my favorites. Super convenient. One hit kill, damage multiplier, and set game speed. Set game speed being the kind of thing where if you're well adept at the game and you want to play it at a faster pace, like Sora move faster, attack faster, just everything go faster you can up that and everything will do exactly that and move faster. That, however, is the one thing out of this entire list that I tried that hasn't worked yet. So it might need an update, but they update this super fast. So I would expect it, well, really fast. <laughs> That's everything for Kingdom Hearts 1. Let's check out Kingdom Hearts 2. God mode, ignore hit, exactly what it sounds like. If you get hit, you just kind of walk it off. <laughs> walk it off Sora and then a lot of this is the same as Kingdom Hearts 1 limited health magic or edit it max drive gauge and unlimited drive form these are the coolest things for Kingdom Hearts 2 max drive gauge would be if you have three drive gauge at the beginning of the game right and you go into valid form when you revert you'll still have three it's just constantly max unlimited drive form this is my favorite thing so far out of all of these for Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 is my favorite you go into a form right let's say you go into wisdom form you just stay in it permanently until you go either to the world map or somewhere else where you would get taken out of the form maybe a cutscene that results in you playing as just Sora you stay in the form until you're forced out of it or until you revert out of it so if you want to play the whole game as like final form or whatever form have at it it is important to note it doesn't give you all five off the bat i'm sure it's a matter of time until we have the mod for that though and then you have your gummy ship edits unlimited health max score max kill count and easy rank up rank up being every time you get one of those little orange orbs for your rank one is a rank up so you really only need like 30 all the weapons for sword donald goofy again armor accessories consumables and materials again that's synthesis unlimited experience one hit to level 99 experience multiplier if you don't want to do the unlimited experience for whatever reason unlimited ap unlimited moogle shop experience come to think of it i don't think that actually worked for me either because i did have to grind up to level nine that one might need an update as well one hit kill damage multiplier and set game speed most of this is the same as one. And here's a look of it in full screen. I just realized that it was a little small in the corner. So I thought I'd show you what it looks like. A little bit bigger. As you can see, to turn these on, you really just have to hit a button. One through nine does a lot of them. F one through nine does a lot of them. And then same thing, you just hold alt number pad for some of them. Exactly what it says here on the side is exactly what you do. Super simple. That's everything that's included. Let's try some of them out, show them off a little bit. Greetings, now from my phone, because apparently I can't screen record Kingdom Hearts and run my re video recording program at the same time. It take my computer just said too much, can cannot compute. So first you have to have the game open, right? So you got Kingdom Hearts open over here, and then you can go over to Wiimod and hit play, the top right, right there. Gotta have the game open first. So now I'm gonna go back over to my game. Some of these I'm not gonna show off because there's just no point. No one needs to see unlimited HP MP because you're not gonna see a difference. If you get hit, you're not gonna lose any health. If you cast a spell, you're not gonna lose any magic. For edit max HP, if we do, if we just hit number pad three, like it says, we can just boom, make it go as high as we want. And then you can decrease it, control four. Oh, hello? Oh, control three. I was looking at the magic. Boom, there it goes. And then magic works the same way with number four. 
You just hold it down, make it go as high as you want. You can go max, boom. Maybe I'll do that, put unlimited on, fill them up immediately. The gummy ship stuff, I don't really feel like anyone needs to see, right? Unlimited HP and energy. Same thing as unlimited HP and MP in regular game. And then mini game max score, it's just gonna be straight nines across the board. If we go to the pause menu here, take a look at our money. If we wanna edit that, number pad eight is our money. So it's gonna start us at a thousand and you can just go hold it down until you're at max. <laughs> Also, real quick, while I'm thinking of it, when you're on Wii Mod, if you hover your mouse over the apply buttons, it's going to say only for pro members. That is for the mobile app only. You do not need to pay for this. If we go to equipment, sorry, Keyblades, my name's at Oathkeeper here, right? I'm going to apply all Keyblades. Voila, now I got everything. Ultima, one winged, boom. Same thing works for staffs and shields. It works the same way. If I go into items, I go to stock. We got... We got some materials, right? Now I'm gonna toggle on all accessories, consumables, and materials, F4, 5, and 6. Oh, well you even got to see it happen in real time. Now we have 88 of each. It says 88, but really we have max. And you can just keep maxing it as much as you want. You can use the materials, and then it just keeps happening. Kingdom Hearts 2, it's just infinitely max. You don't have to hit the button again. Your inventory just keeps auto-refilling. I currently have 27 AP. I toggle on unlimited AP. I go back in. I have 100. And then also applies to Donald and Goofy and the rest of your teammates. Now if I want to toggle on one hit kill, it's at all two. Wow. Dead. Get him, Goofy. And it applies to your party members as well. Everyone will one hit kill. And last but not least for Kingdom Hearts 1, we're going to toggle on unlimited EXP. I'm currently level 46. And boom! I should now be level 100 across the board. Damage multiplier will just edit how much damage you're doing. If you want to do a little bit more damage, you know, if you don't feel like you're doing enough. If you want to do a level 1 run, let's say, but you want to do a little bit more damage, if you feel like you're doing chip, you can turn up the multiplier a little bit. You'll still have your level 1 stats, but you'll do a little bit more damage. Maybe if you want to have level 1 defense and HP, but you want to be a little stronger. I don't know, I'm just spitballing reasons you might want to do it. Now let's take a look at Kingdom Hearts 2. So I just found out, actually, that the set game speed does work, kind of. You can't increase the speed, but you can decrease the speed. That does work. <laughs> if, you, if you want to move, like, the, um, like, Flash from uh, Zootopia, you can do that. All right, now to check out Kingdom Hearts 2. Same thing, got the game open first. Then we go over Wii Mod, we hit play. A lot of these are the same, so we can go through this quicker because you don't need to see it again. God Mode Ignore Hit, same thing I said earlier, exactly what it sounds like. You just walk it off. You definitely want to hit me. Yeah, show me what you got. Come on, give me, give me. Yeah, boom. That That's kind of badass, just kind of <laughs> standing through the fire. All right. That's a good example. Unlimited HP, MP, edit HP, MP. You guys know what these do already. Let's show the drive gauge bits all right so i have four right here i go into valor right i revert i still have four i'm gonna go back in valor now watch see how it says six it's not going down i have permanent valor i this is just who i am i am a valor boy this is how i'm playing my game right now actually it's my playthrough is entirely in drive forms the gummy ship things i don't think anyone really needs to see unlimited hp you know what that is, max score, max kill count, straight nines again, easy rank up, I explained earlier what that was. Edit money, y'all saw how that worked for Kingdom Hearts 1. All keyblades, all weapons, all accessories, all items and such works a little bit better in Kingdom Hearts 2, like I said earlier again, because once you toggle it all on, even if you give them out, it just keeps auto refilling in your inventory. Unlimited experience, you saw what that looked like, it was just instant level max. <laughs> I'm currently doing a level 2 run of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on Proud because I enjoy Proud more than Critical and I don't have the zero experience ability the best I could do is equip the winner's proof as Roxas but that just goes to show there's more options now we can do more types of challenge runs you can kind of customize it as you wish being a good teammate I have grand ribbons and draw rings and mega elixirs for the whole party <laughs> It's a lot of fun. Actually, come to think of it, there was one other thing I did forget to show. So the infinite drive form also applies to summon. So if you just want to play 
Like, your whole game chilling with Chicken Little, you can't. The boy just stays. The little man. I'm gonna go over here and beat up, and beat up these Heartless. Chicken Little just that. Oh my god, I took God Mode off. Yikes, I'm on level two. But yeah, now I'm just chilling with Chicken Little. We're <laughs> kicking some butt. What does that look like with Genie? Genie, get in here. Oh, this will be really good actually for that uh, tournament in the Coliseum where you can only use summons. It's just really cute. New party member options permanently. Not, it's no longer just summon. And there you have it, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 trainer mods on Wii Mod. Really fun, you can make your own kind of run with these. I'm enjoying them a lot. Kingdom Hearts 3 actually is already available on Wii Mod as well. It became available as of recording this earlier today. Recording this on Easter, but this video probably won't be up for about two or three days. I'm fully expecting to see all of the Kingdom Hearts games go up on Wii Mod very fast. I think I mentioned it earlier, but just in case I didn't, these are being done by someone by the name of Fling. Again, I'm gonna link to Wii Mod and to Fling and just everything that needs credit will be in the description. Fully expecting to see everything show up within the next couple weeks. These are being done very fast and as of time of posting this, my Kingdom Hearts 3 showcase will likely be uploaded within minutes after this, if not at the same time. If it's not currently up, it should be up later today. And that's all I got for you guys for today. Like I said, this is going to end up being a series. I'm going to showcase every mod that I come across that becomes public. There's already two more that I found that I need to show you guys. I'm really excited to try out. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, if you want to see more of these, subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.